Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we appreciate you because you are faithful. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adorations. We thank you because you never forsake us. You never leave us. You never neglect us. We thank you because you are almighty. We thank you, Jesus Christ, because you are the living God. Be thou glorified in Jesus' name. We ask you, Father, that as we are going into your world, you speak to our soul. You deliver us from all evil, from all powers of the darkness in the name of Jesus. Set us free, O God. We ask you, Father, that you sent your word into our life. Your word that healed, your word that delivered your word that set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you are our faithful God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you, everybody, in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel from Nigeria. This is Heaven and Air Life program. Uh, today we want to talk about uh, Galatia. We are going back to the study of Galatia, but this topic is somehow uh, somehow good to study, you know. It's indeed. We have been talking about Galatia. We have talked about uh, uh, adultery, fornications, uncleanliness. Today, we want to talk about lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. Lascivious. What is the meaning of lasciviousness? So we talk about it today. All this flesh, the Bible, the Galatian here, yeah, is all the Bible written here. I mean, what is written in this Galatians chapter 5, is not just talking to a sinner, but it's talking to a Christian. So so that you will not be thinking that uh, this one is not meant for me, now. it's for it's for. Uh, it's meant for those who are not yet born again. Don't think like that. It's also meant, it's meant for Christians. So it's not just for those who are, are not in Christ, but also for those who are in Christ. Those who have ever to go. Those who are truly every candidate. Those who believe in the Bible. Those who want to make heaven at last. These are what the Bible here is telling, telling us. It's telling us. So, the Lord God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your Bible to Galatians chapter 5, verses 19. Galatians chapter 5, verses 19. Open it. Galatians 5, verses 19. Unless somebody read. Yes, please read it. Kindly open your mic, open your video, please. And let the person open the microphone so that uh, we can hear it. Yes. Galatians 5.19, yes. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these works adultery, of the flesh. Wait. the works of the flesh, listen to me one after the other. The works of the flesh are manifest. The works of this flesh. That's why I asked him earlier to pray about uh, Mr. Flesh, that Lord should destroy Mr. Flesh. The work of this flesh. This one. This one is the problem of all, all Christians. We are not talking referring to the uh, people who are not in Christ now. We are referring to Christian. 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 There, it's talking about the works of the flesh. When you are a Christian, a carnality is still taking control of your life. When you are a Christian and the old man is not yet live, he's still in your life. Eh? When you say you are born again and you are a candidate of heaven and your life did not glorify God. 
When you say you are a Christian, you are every candidate, and God did not recognize you as his own child, then you are not a Christian. Hallelujah. Then you know what? I'm not a Christian. Amen. When you are a Christian, when you are a Christian, you say you are a Christian. Please, please put that on your place. When you are a Christian, you claim to be a Christian, but your life, it cannot be accounted. Even a sinner cannot say you are a Christian. Even a sinner. Why? Because your own life is also the same thing with the life of the, uh, the, 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 uh, the sinner. A sinner cannot say you are a Christian. The way you live is the same way the sinner lives. The way you do things is the same way the sinner do in their own days. Nothing to differentiate in you. Your way of life is sinful. Their way of life is sinful. The way you talk self does not have manner. Spiritual, spiritual, uh, spiritual movement is not in there. And you say you're a Christian. How can you be a Christian? How will you be a Christian? The way you see things, you say things like a sinner. They tell me you're a Christian. Where? Where have you been a Christian? Even your family cannot be a witness that you, you are a Christian. The husband that marries you cannot say you are a Christian. I will give you advice. I will give you a, 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 a assignment for you to go and do. Go home and go and ask your family, am I a Christian? Go home and go and ask your family that am I a Christian? I'm giving you the assignment now. Go home and go and call your husband. Call your husband and ask him, am I a Christian? Go home and go to your neighbor's house and say, neighbor, sister, please, you, I'm, I'm so sorry to ask this question. Am I a Christian? As you are seeing me, are you seeing Christ in me? Please tell me the truth. So is what the Bible is talking here, Galatians chapter 5, verse 19, is talking about the works of the flesh. The works of what? Of the flesh. The word of carnality. The works of carnality. As a Christian, carnal life is still in your life. You still behave like the world does. As a pastor, the way you even do, the words that come out from your mouth to others are not good. Dirty things out of your mouth. Worldly language, foul language, which are not supposed to be. Yes, sister, continue. That sister should continue. Who is reading for us? Yes. Yes. Continue. I should continue. Okay. Which are those are fornicate uncleanness, lavishness, lavishness, yes, sir. Lavishness. <laughs> Now, mm -hmm. the Bible are mentioning this. They are, the Bible are mentioning this because they are the works of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Though these works of the flesh are not supposed to be, are not supposed to be at all in the life of a Christian at all. But because of the ignorance of that time, in the book of Galatia, the Galatian people, they as if their, uh, uh, they, they, their own glorious is serious. So, he's trying to, to explain it, that this are sin, this are sin, this are sin. 
and they are the works of the flesh. They manifest in Christians. They manifest in, in, in believers. Even as a pastor, they manifest here. But today I'm going to break it down for you so that you can understand the meaning of lasciviousness. Many people are into lasciviousness. The spirit of lasciviousness is inside them, but they never know. Lasciviousness as a spirit, a connection with the spirit of fornication, adultery. Let me say, connection with immorality, connection with the spirit of Jezebel. Because anything immorality is Jezebel. Is Jezebel. Now, through lasciviousness, through the spirit of lasciviousness, many Christian, fellow Christian, I'm not talking about a sinner now, many fellow believers, they have succeeded, they have succeeded in bringing down their pastors, succeeded in bringing down their, 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 their elder in the church, their decree. Or let me say, pastor have succeeded in bringing their member down, even to have intercourse with them. This spirit of lasciviousness is what they call the motive and the emotional appearance and the physical affections, sexual affections, manifestation and in action manifestation in action of sexual affection. This lasciviousness is an act of uh, manifesting the sexual desires, showing it, manifesting it, displaying it. Eh? This spirit of lasciviousness is an act of a, uh, that is where you can recognize who is lustful. It's the art of a, uh, it's the art of a uh, bringing into action the spirit of lust. Hallelujah. It's showing sexual desire. Now I want to look where as a lasciviousness spirit come into you, come into a Christian door. Where have they come into a Christendom? Where have they, uh, 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 have they affected Christendom? Has the spirit of lasciviousness has affected the Christendom in sense of uh, many areas? And this generated much in the Kana Christian. A Kana Christian. When you see a Christian sister, Walking majestically is the spirit of lasciviousness. Yeah, when you see a sister cat walking, you see me now. When he's walking, his body is like this. He's cat walking. So when the brother see her cat walking, the brother head will begin to swell up. They will begin to swell up. The sister will start walking. A Christian sister, when they see Christian sister, you know you walk normally at all. But you now start training yourself that you want to start walking in a way that people will start focusing attention on you. So when you're not coming into church, inside church, you wear, you wear a longer eye heel. And you start to come. People are listening to the word of God. You are just walking in. Coca, co, 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 co. You are like, good morning. Co. It is the spirit of lasciviousness working in your life. The spirit of lasciviousness is a dangerous spirit that, that has a cause placed on them. You might say, but it's all sin that has cause. The spirit of lasciviousness cause is, is, is death. So I want you to be very careful of it. We will not die in Jesus' name. 
both in the spirit and uh, in the flesh. We will not die in Jesus' name. But the Bible talk about it in the Bible. So the Bible talk about it in the Bible. It talk about somebody tempting someone else to sin. Uh, yeah, my sister, someone to sin. You see that? Someone to sin. When you are, you are, you are, you are, uh, 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 you make someone to sin, the Bible talk about it. So, lasciviousness is the act of bringing a fellow brother or a fellow sister into sin. Open your Bible to the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18. I will read here from good news. If anyone should cause one of these little ones to lose their his faith in me, it will be better for that person to have a large millstone tied around his neck and be drawn in the deep sea. How terrible. How terrible for the war that there are things that make people lose their faith. Such things will always happen, but how terrible for the one who cost them. You see that? The Bible said, how terrible for the one who caused them. If you eventually make your pastor fall into fornication with you or into adultery with you, my dear sister or brother, you cannot escape the judgment. Day. You sister, choir sister, choir sister. You see, let me tell you something. You see, if I can overcome my flesh, not all brother can overcome their flesh. When things are happening in the world, are we supposed to correct it? We are not correcting it, we are bringing it into the church. It will cause many people to fall from their faith. Let me tell you something. All these worldly churches, that is why we, all, we always hear it, that they have intercourse with their members. All this is because what they are wearing is not good. It's not good. Now, number two, they treat their waist and body to seduce guys. You see that? These lascivious spirit uh, ladies, they treat their body and waist to seduce brothers in church. They begin to stretch their waist so that their bottom will be like this. Pa, 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 pa. And the man will be like this. Brother in the church, start looking at somebody's bumble. The brother will not have looked at the bumble if the sister did not come in a way that seduced guys. So by the time the brother look at your bumble, to you, you are feeling, feeling big that, hey, they are looking at me. They are looking at me, in fact, they are seeing that I'm beautiful to you. But to God, you are a cause person. You are under a cause. And that cause is that you will not die. That's what the Bible says. In Matthew chapter 18, you will not die, Jesus. So the spirit of lasciviousness is very serious. Very serious. It brings a fellow brother into sin. Twisting your, your boot up. Why would it be? When all these worldly pastors, they will tell their member to be wearing something that is tight. Tight to their body.
I want you to pray this prayer. Put it in your record, put it in your book, and begin to pray it every day that every spirit of lasciviousness in your life, I cast you out in Jesus' name. You see, when you cause a fellow brother to see, why would all these pastors start having sex, sexual intercourse with their members? And the same member will now come on social media and say, ah, Pastor, this and this have intercourse with me. Are they not, why are they going to social churches? Uh, social let me tell you something. This is a fact. All the pastors that allow their member to wear things that is worldly, if they are not pastors at all. Don't call them pastor. They are agents of hell. Irrespective of their of the title they carry, irrespective of the anointing upon their life, they are agents of darkness because they are bringing people to hell. Not just only them. Not just only them, but the brothers in the church chef, they are also going to hell. Even the brothers in the church. They are also going to hell. The sisters in the church, they are also going to hell. Because even there are some brothers that the way they dress self, just to make sure that girls or ladies were able to, you know. They are seduced. It's seduced ladies. Hallelujah. So they treat their buttocks. They treat their ways. They treat their eyes to seduce guys. When they want to look at the guy, they're... and the guy will like, ah, this is sister like me. Oh. Eh? This is sister like me. Let me toast Anna. Let me talk to her. Maybe, you know, she has already given me that. My father teached me something when I was still small. He told me about women. He started teaching me the secret about women. And he tells me that, my son, if a lady, he said, it's not, he said, many ladies will not tell you they like you. What they will, they, what they will do is that they will look at you, your, your, eye, your eyes. They will, they will have a eyes intercourse. I mean, in contact with you. Eyes. Your two eyes will come together. They will be looking at you like this. There's a sister I know. That sister, whenever she wants to talk to me, she will always look at my heart. Me too, I will, I will, I will shake my heart. <laughs> I will lie and uh, turn the eyes down. Because that eyes, they are looking at, even as a brother, it's not a normal thing for you to always look at the eyes, eyes of a sister. It's not good. It will bring you to sin. It will make you to commit a sin. You see all these women, you are seeing, all these ladies you are seeing. The way God created them is temptation on his own. The way God, especially anyone that is very yellow, they, in fact, the way God created them, it is temptation on his own. So as a brother, you are not supposed to look at the eyes of a sister. And the sister too is looking at your eyes. When two eyes come to the contact, the spirit of lasciviousness will manifest. And it will enter you. And when it enters you, you start feeling a different loss for that sister. Or the sister will be feeling lost for that brother. So if you look at the eyes of the sister for a while, just remove her. yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You remove it because it, I'm teaching you the logic something. That's why you go back home and start masturbating at all. That's why you start going back home and start uh, dreaming that you have sex in, in the dream. Why would you have sex? When you are already falling to one thing physically. That's why you go, you, 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 you go home and start thinking of that sister and say, hey, sister. Well, and it will affect your spiritual life. That's why when you go home, you start thinking of the of, uh, of having it because of her. 
that I use this account just mistakenly come to my house. I will have intercourse with that and ask forgiveness. And you believe God will forgive you? God will forgive you. Because it is called intentional sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, even as a sister, you have to be very careful about guys. Guys, they give a sexual smile. When somebody has a, sp a spirit of uh, lavishness, if it can be a man, it can be a lady. When, if, when the opposite uh, sex, when the opposite sex talk to them, they smile. Not that smile is not good, though. But they are sexual smile. The way they look, this brother will do like this. Hey, sister. And they will do like. And brother to me, sister, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. I just say, do you mean me? Do you mean I'm beautiful? You mean me? You say, yes, you are beautiful. Eh? From there, lost we become. We say, can I touch your hand? And I say, well, of course you can. From there, you touch hand. From there, you touch leg. From there, you, eh? you go into sin. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness is a dangerous thing that should not even be in the life of Jesus at all. I mean at all. I mean at all. They touch a guy sexually. 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 Let me tell you, all the people doing this cannot make ever. I'm telling you the truth. They touch a guy sexually. You know, normally if you want, if they are, they are talking to a fellow sister like them, themselves, they will touch the sister. They will call her. She's a favor. She's a big boy. And said, eh? Oh, sister, I do. But if it is a guy, they will use that rheumatic and toss. Bro. And by the time the brother looks at whose hand is so soft like this and so cool. And they will hold that hand like that. They will say, I want to see you. And the, the brother will start following them like a moron. Like a news as uh, yes, I'm I'm following you. Because they have used the spirit of lasciviousness to touch them and bring them. I know it is a brother too. The way the brother will talk at, to that sister, sister, they will touch it. The way they, they have this hand though, but they will just use time to touch that sister in a soft way. So the sister will feel this, we feel the signal in their body. It is the spirit of lasting justice working in your life as a Christian. Should this be in your life? They intentionally do things that can arouse an opposite sex. Eh? They intentionally do things that can arouse their opposite, opposite sex. For example, when is a sister, is sister, a sister, is she a funny brother? Hey, brother June, Igbo guy. By the time he, uh, he hold the brother, the brother to be old, he said, is your sister? The sister will not hug him very well. So that the breast will touch the old chest. And the brother will feed the he will feed the signal in the system. Let me tell you this: all these signs, they are all the spirit of lasciviousness manifesting in your life as a Christian. It is the spirit of lasciviousness manifesting in your life because the way you hold that brother, there is no way he will not feed the signal. There is no way. There is no way. That's why in the era we are here, you are not even allowed to hug any brother. 
pour organiser ça. The idea is uh, God bless you. Shake the hand, and after you have shake the hand, you remove your hand back. God bless you, sister. It is well with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's the highest. Don't hold that brother. Don't hug her. Don't go hug him. It, they always do things that will make the way they talk, the way they treat, the way they talk to their friend. When they see brother coming, they change their workings. When they see brother coming, they change their workings. Say, why are you? They will start saying all kind of uh, romantic uh, voice, changing their voice in a way that will be romantic. You know, they will be talking in a way the brother will start noticing that. And since this sister voice is very beautiful, it says talking. It says, when the brother is sitting beside, they will say, Good money. Eh? The way they talk to that good money, the way they say that good money itself is a problem. But I will start looking at we start taking notes. Eh? They bring the product near as a Christian. Should this be in your life? The brother will say, Sister, I think start changing voice. It is when you see brothers or you see sisters that you start changing your voice. Your voice is hard, though. Eh? Your voice, your voice is very hard to hear, like my own now. But when you see sister, you start, sister, how you doing? Eh? God bless you. My name is Brother Jude. Now, normally, if you want to talk to his fellow brother, Alpha now, brother, God bless you. I, 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 I defy you. That's how he used to talk to fellow brothers. So. But when it comes to sisters, I do. My name is Brother Jude. Yeah, yeah, I'm born again. I'm a Christian. Just because you saw a, you saw a lady. It is the spirit of lasciviousness working in your life. And I cannot lie to you. It can take you to hell. Not just a hell alone. There is a cause placed on that thing. Yeah. It is the spirit of lasciviousness. It is the spirit of lasciviousness that make a lady to open the part of his, his body. How will a Christian, a sister, be wearing a cloth that is armless? Eh? Eh? You are wearing a cloth. Your hand like this are showing. You are wearing your clothes. Your back are showing. You are wearing the clothes. Your chest are showing. You are wearing a net that a guy can easily see your breast. A Christian sister, a heavenly candidate. Do you think that Jesus would come and take you home like this? A sister, very mini guy, mini skirt, sister. Sister, it's a pity. It's a pity. But my pastor said there's nothing wrong in doing that now. Your pastor might tell you there's nothing wrong in doing that. But I will tell you the truth today that there's a hundred percent something wrong in doing that. All those brothers you make through you, they fell. You will account for them. Wait, do you even think it is easy to gather people? Do you know what Jesus Christ passed through himself before he can win a soul? Even Jesus Christ himself, do you know what he passed before he can win a soul? A soul. He will come to that soul in the dream and talk to him. He will send pastor to the him. He will send sister to him. He will talk to that person through television. And you a sister. You are wearing a naked cloth. And you know you are a beautiful girl. Allow a brother to fall. Ah! You are a terrible being. You are a wicked being. You are a very wicked being. You know so. You know who you are. You are very wicked. 
that brother that came with the holy act and he see you and it's and it's something begin to come up in the church just because he, he see the way you see that in the church your last shoes you wear me this get your last shoe so he saw the something inside and it's something begin to rise up and the brother committed his sin against god i want somebody to read for us matthew that 20, 20 uh, Matthew chapter uh, verse 18 chapter 18. Matthew 18. Anybody that make a brother affair, what did the Bible talk about it? Verse what, sir? Verse 6. Matthew chapter 18, verse 6. But, but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me you see that it whosoever that offend you know without offend it means you see ever that make that brother for that's what the bible saying that yes it we are better for him that a millstone we are hanged about his neck and that he we are drowned in the depths of the sea in the depth of the sea. You know, you know the meaning of that thing. The meaning is that God is saying that he didn't want to see. That's the meaning. The meaning is that the meaning is that God is saying, I don't want to see. Just go, go and die. That's what the Bible is saying here. And Jesus Christ was, is the person who is saying this. God is saying, go and die. I don't want to see. Mm. Yes. Verse 7. Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to that man. You say that true offenses will come. Temptation will come. It's true. But... Woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Woe! Do you know the meaning of woe? Do you know the meaning of woe? Cause. Woe means mm. cause. Mm. That's the meaning of woe. Cause. By you that make that sister to start thinking about you. Jesus. You make that sister to start thinking about you. You made that brother to start thinking about you. You intentionally make him to fall into sin with you. Jesus Christ. You make him to have intercourse with you. Ah. Hmm. You tempt her to start having lost. You tempt him to start having lost. Hmm. You make him to start masturbating at home. You make him to start thinking about her, thinking about having sex with him in his heart. You have made him to sin. The Bible said, Whoa! Cause! Or did he? Hello, I'm Good morning, sir. Ah, uh, I'm supposed yeah, to call yeah, you yeah, to yeah. greet you. I never reach my office. <laughs> So, whoa, cause how will you be snapping pictures? How will you be going around wearing things that is not is talk over in your body? As a Christian, nobody should even see your chest, your chest. Talk less of seeing part of your breast. Some of you, you wear clothes and your nipple will come out. You People will see your nipple. For what now? And you will not start shouting and say, hey, that pastor, hallelujah, oh, this pastor is a sinner. In fact, ah, she, he lost after me. He, 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 in fact, he raped me. Why would he rape you? Uh, man. Why would you rape you? Uh, you are the one destroying the church. You want to carry him? I don't know why. Hey, please. 
Mm. Off your mic. If you are talking, please off your mic. You make that brought that pastor to sin. You make him to sin. Why would he see? Why? Tell me. You are the one causing the church to become what we see now. Because of the nonsense things you hear. Eh? Because of the nonsense things you hear. Why would you be doing that? For cry out loud. Why? Why? Is it compulsory for you to, to tell somebody? Is it compulsory? Must you allow a brother to fall into sin? Why will you be wearing your ring? Why are you painting your face? All, all the people painting their face, it's not for them to be beautiful, alone, but the, it is because of men to see them. Why are you doing this? Wearing your ring. And we want you. Even paradise is sin. We told you about it. You see, go ahead. We talk about it. Wearing attachment, wearing wood. What is enough of that nonsense? It's nonsense. It's nonsense. Why? Why will you be doing that? Why? Why? Why will you go to hell? Why? What? What? What is your gain in bringing somebody into sin? If you are feeling, if you are feeling sexually aroused and you cannot control yourself, why don't you go and marry? Who are marry now? The God says you not marry. He said, but I'm just 18 years old. If you know you cannot control, talk to your parent and go and marry. Must you go into church and tell the people in the church? Must you? Must you allow somebody to commit sin? Must you? Must you wear mini skirt? Must you? Must your guy must he be tight? Must you? What is the problem of that? You are the one destroying the church. What is the problem of that? Must you give a, a, a brother a eyes to seduce him? Must what is the problem of that? What is your gay? A man looking after you. Brother, what is your gay? In that sister. Just a five minutes enjoyment. Do you want to destroy your destiny? Five minutes enjoyment. If you tell the sister to start loving you and you have intercourse with her, what is your gain? Beloved sister and brother, I'm warning you. You have read it yourself. What the cause that attached to anyone who committed sin? Anyone who committed sin? Anyone who committed sin? What is your benefit? Eh? You now start using wisdom to convince people to have intercourse, to roast. Because that brother is very handsome. You start trying try your best to seduce him. Because he's very, very handsome. If he's handsome, once you seduce him, eh? So because you are not handsome now, you are trying, trying to seduce girls like that. Because you are handsome now, you want people to start, uh, you start servicing girls, you don't give them face. So that they start, this woman is very handsome. Boy. What's, what's, what's the meaning of it? And you call yourself a Christian. You are a bastard in the kingdom. You call yourself a Christian. You are a bastard in the kingdom. A bastard. You are a bastard in the kingdom. Why must you do that? Tell me. Why? Why? 
Why must you do that? Is it compulsory to do that? You start going to eat trees. When you go to eat trees with your friends, you go to a party with your friend as a Christian. Start looking at the brother. When you see a brother looking at you, you smile. Meaning now, meaning. You cannot stand as you cannot stand on your feet as a Christian. Shame on you. Shame on you. Say it to yourself, shame on me. Shame on you. You cannot even stand on your feet to show that you are truly a child. You are a child of God. You are truly a child of God. That you have given your life to Jesus Christ. They snap Peter sexually. Eh? You will see them in the, in the Facebook. Snapping pictures. This is time. Sexual style. Mini. They will start to put hand in the in the in the bomb bomb. Waste. Something like this. Something like this. Something like this. Something like this. Christian, Christian, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. Christian, ah, 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 and you call yourself a child of God. And you call yourself a child of God. Ah! And you call yourself a child of God. You say you are every candidate. You are not every candidate. You, you are a fire candidate. Lasciviousness. Can I Christian? What is the meaning of the worldly things you are using now? Tell me now. What is the meaning of it? What is the meaning of the worldly things you are using? Tell me. Tell me. Please tell me. What is the meaning? Tell me. I pray God we have mercy on you. Say to yourself, God have mercy on me. Say to yourself, God have mercy on me. Say to yourself, God have mercy on me. I have seen. I pray you will not go to hell. Remember the verse, the verse in the Bible, what the verse said in Matthew chapter 18. Don't forget you have made that brother to follow Matthew chapter 18. Let me read for you in good news. Good news English is very simple to hear. So let me read for you in good news. Verses. If any anyone shall cause one of these little one to lose his faith, you have caused many people to lose their faith. It will be better for that person to have a large mistletoe tied around his neck and be drawn in the deep sea. He said it is better that you go that you go and kill you. You will not die in Jesus' name. How terrible for the world that there are things that make people to lose their faith. Such things will always happen, but how terrible for that one who causes 
day. Who causes day? But listen to me, this is the good news. Out of all what you are saying, this is the good news. The good news of the whole matter is that God can still show you mercy. God can forgive you. God knows that it is kind of working in your life. If you can surrender your life to Jesus, if you can surrender your life to Jesus and cry to God for mercy, he will show you mercy. He will forgive you. He will wash you. He will wash your sins away. He will deliver you from iniquities. Can you start the prayer now? Start begging God. If it will take you to cry, you better cry. Eh? If it will take you to cry, you better cry. You better cry. Start talking to God now. Start talking to God now. If it will, it will take you to weep, you better weep. Ask God for forgiveness. Beg him. He will forgive you if you beg him. More. Beg him to forgive you. Beg him. Beg him. Are you praying? Are you really praying? Are you praying? I'm too beautiful. That's why you guys used to call me. Is that so? What about the ways you used to to manipulate the mentality of guy by twisting your body, turning your body, everything like that? What about the clothes you wear? What about your, 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 the way you look at guys? You, you twist your eyes, you give guys faces, you give him face, you give him eyes, you smile in a romantic way. What about that ones? Talk to God. Talk to God. The Lord show me mercy. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. I want to pray for you. Put your right, if you know that you are guilty of these things, put your right hand on your chest. If you know that you are guilty of these things, put your right hand on your, on your chest. I repeat, if you know you are guilty, this is the time you want to receive mercy now. If you know you are guilty of these things, put your right hand on your chest so that I can pray for you that God should show you mercy. Father, in Jesus' name, Everlasting Father, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the adorations. We thank you because you are wonderful. We thank you because you are living God. Blessed be your only name in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you that you forgive everyone here listening to me, get you of the sin of lasciviousness. Father, I ask you, Jesus, that you please Forgive them, wash them, cleanse them, sanctify them, purify them, purify them, save them from all sins. Remove the spirit of cause in their life. Set them free from all sins in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because you are the living God. For in Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Amen. God bless you. My name is Apostle Peter Damien. If you know this message touch your life, go and like it and subscribe. If you know this message touch your life, like it and subscribe and share and comment. Let us know how it touched your life. Comment. And if you want me to cancel you or you want to invite me to any of your program or you want to support this program, you can kindly do that by WhatsApp me on plus two three four eight one three eight nine six six two eight seven 
I come again. Plus two, three, four, eight, one, three, eight, nine, six, six, two, eight, seven. That is my number. You can WhatsApp me or call me for more something. If you want me to come to your country too, to come and minister the holiness message to you, you can also talk to me there. God bless you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.